Good evening, welcome to Feldike Car Park just outside of Lampler. Familiar haunt that I use. And it's the 23rd, Friday the 23rd of July 2021. Tonight, me, Penny, and Monty are going up Knockmerton in the Blakefell area, Cogramos area. So it's a bit of a, a bulk on its own, but hopefully, it should bring some nice views for the evening. So we'll walk through Crogramos first and crack on. Well, there's my first view of the evening of Crogramos Reservoir. Beautiful surroundings. Very tranquil indeed. What's not to like about this little gem in West Cumbria? Not a tourist in sight. Fantastic. Ever so quiet. And as yet, I've not been attacked by Mr. Midge and Mrs. Midge and Baby Midges and whatever Midges there is. But this is just a beautiful, perfect July evening. Yeah, earlier on this year there was a bit of fire damage. I'm not quite sure where it was, but it's possible it was over there, you know, set of trees. The ground looks a bit scorched there but uh, since the last one so some of these trees in this area have been felled as well quite a lot actually so above us that's knock Merton there so I'm gonna head round go up my usual route and then it'll be a steep check to top unless there's another path oh Penny's having a dig down there going for a sip you going for a sip Mont Go for a drink, pal. He's just standing there, gormless as ever. What a lovely setting, eh? All four seasons it looks beautiful down here. If you haven't been when you come to Cumbria, please come and visit. And keep it to yourself. <laughs> I <laughs> put this on YouTube. Then again, I don't have thousands of viewers, so what do I care? Mm, it's starting to get a bit midgy now. <laughs> I've got my skin so soft on, so I'm all right. So this is the point here where it forks off. That'll take you round. Nice loop around. And this will take you up onto the top there. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know where this ends. And then we'll see how we get on. This looks quite thick through there, this path going on now. So, see how we get on. It's probably it's still 24 degrees as well. It's proper warm. But, uh, hopefully, I've sprayed enough stuff on, and the midges will just do one tonight. Anyway, for some daft reason, I didn't stop. Just there is where I've come up. And obviously, that's Blake fell up there. So, I've come around this way on this forest track just waiting for a cut in to my right so I can head up the fell through there and up to the top of knock there and I know it's going to be a steep uh, climb been in the shade for the last 25 minutes which isn't too bad but uh, I'm sure eventually I'll come out into the sunshine and bake again even though it's like nearly 8 o'clock I've come down the side of the tree line you see the uh, Forestry Commission sign saying Cogramoth on it. Look round. Monty's having a loud breather. So anyway, this looks like some sort of path. I'm just going to follow it up. See where it leads to. It's probably a bit naff, but it'll be a steep loud climb up there. But let's crack on. Well, the area I'm on now, I've just lost on the map well. It was probably some mining that's been filled in. Along here, there was a little shaft in the forest there. So all this area was mining back in the day. And you can see further that way, what was many moons ago, dug out quarries and stuff all around here. As I come round now, I can see an Adil. Absolutely corking tonight. 
there's just a nice breeze coming to it as well now which is quite really pleasant could have parked down there but it's not really a car park to be honest so I don't know and if you look below here there that goes along that was probably some old tracks like rail tracks or something like that back in the day I'll have to look it up which mines it was I don't know if it was Cogramos, Merton, Merton Fell mine but yeah so you can see what's left of it anyway the tops up there Monty's been like zigzagging about like a silly bugger you'll get there eventually ah, I found the path there's the summit sweaty work this Monty's hard work to carry him a bit he's just wonky donkey tonight keeps veering off the paths that I'm on he's actually stayed on this one now look there's the view for tonight impressive as ever looking over the Solway I'm absolutely blown out my ass tonight there's Ennerdale very nice indeed and he's penny leading away as usual sometimes she leads too far and her recall's getting worse she was 13 last week she's not showing any signs of slowing down yet which is a good thing because I wanted to come on these camps Monty's 11 days time he's 15 so he's doing well well finally we're at the top of Knock Merton, Merton Fell whatever you wish to call it and it's looking down to Cogramos and around Blake Fell and that's where the camp last year just in the middle of them trees there uh, just above the yeah there so this is nice there's an actual cairn here as well over here I'll go to it in a minute just look out spectacular views indeed Very spectacular. And Monty's having a rest over there. Whew. Another cairn here. Piles of stones. Put my bag down. Got a big bottle of water in there. Pan round. And there's Hennadale and the fells behind. You can see lots on here. It's slightly hazy over there as the sun's up there over towards Galloway. You can't really see it well, as well as it should, for, as I have done before from here. Not bad at all, eh? Now it's to find a pitch. Hmm. Could be small for choice. There's a few loud undulations, so I don't know where it'll go. I'll find somewhere nice. Well, that's quickly set up now. It's right, right to left land but not much dogs just having their evening feed supper time <coughs> very nice setup tonight very nice indeed quite happy with that oh why right. I've only seen a couple of people all night look down at reservoir further along line there's the path and it's going to be a decent sunset tonight in a deal. not a bad panel so we've had an excellent few days weeks oh, I don't know what can work yeah, we've had a good sustainable period of sunshine. Some like it, some don't. I've had the fact factor 50 on quite a lot. So I've not got sunburnt, luckily. I got a horrendous bite the other day of horsefly, which wasn't pleasant. But uh, a bit of piriton sorted that out, thankfully. But, uh, yeah, I haven't been out as much recently. Got a train for Fred Whitten now. It's two months of approaching. September's going to be a busy month. I've got three sportifs in that month, so I've got no legs by the end of it. 
people and that's most of this camping for now and deals like that I'm going to scoff some crisps to the phone now actually just switch the phone now just for the sunset I'll try and zoom in on it as far as I can that's as best it's going to do not a bad sunset that eh? <laughs> absolutely corking a beauty tonight so not Merton it's got a nice can here Quite comfy to sit in. And there's just a couple of piles of stone here. Um, come round. And there's a little bit down this side, but as well, a little shelter here as well, which isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. One more zoom in for the sun. Very nice. Top of Knockmerton, and here comes the sunset. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very nice. Lake Fell, down below, Cogremos, and there's the accommodation for the evening, dogs chilling out, and a dale behind. What more do you want? Perfect summer's evening. And I've got no beer. <laughs> Unbelievable, just coffee. One last look at the sun. Bye bye sun. So I didn't really bring any food with us tonight. I've got a couple of boiled eggs, got a packet of crisps and some biscuits. I just had some sandwiches. With the warm weather, I thought, I really can't be bothered cooking. I'll have a bit of scram before I come out. As it was like seven o'clock, just after seven when I got here. So, one of those, arrive late, will I go early? But uh, who knows? But yeah, it's now 20 to 10. It was a damn good sunset and I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thought about going over to Flat Fell over there. And a bit of information for um, people who are looking to camp out any deal way. There is a new campsite, it's a farm campsite. It, if somebody wants to look it up, it's called Fearons. Fearons campsite. Um, where my finger is, I don't know if you can pick it up. No, it's just outside of Ennerdale. And it's just recently opened, and apparently a lot of people are recommending it. It's very handy as well. So yeah, give it a whiz. I'll probably give it a whiz at some point myself. Yeah, I look to get away to a campsite in August for a, a few days, mid-August, for something to do. The lights are starting to come on now out west. Well, it's come up to quarter past ten now. As you can see over the Solway, the skies are beautiful. All the lights are on right down, heading south. Over towards Whitehaven Way. And a dale down here. I'm seeing a car light come back from Bonus Knot. There's probably someone been walking down in a dale. But yeah, let's pan around. Quite dark one side, but it's still light the other. Not a bad night, though. Eh? I'll bring you back in the morning. I'm gonna chill out in the tent with the dogs. So that's night, night. And out. Well, good morning. I've had enough of cock and sleep overnight. Very peaceful. Sun's out. Nice loud breeze on top of here start the day with, when I'm feeling it will warm up in time, 
lovely day so far. Gonna have a, a boiled egg, the cuppa, and get packed up and get back down. Uh, I'll have another sleep later on because one is on night shift tonight. First of four. So let's get cracked on. Well, that's me packed up now, quarter nine. All sorted in the bag. Cloud over the salt there, some cloud coming in there. I hope it's not rain clouds. I have got a coat like, but I want to get down and back home in time. But yeah, cracking there. Dogs have had a good night. Ready to rock and roll. So, let's move on down. Well, as you can see, as I was saying earlier, there's what was transportation out these mines they've rails and they've gone down onto the old line which leads down into Whitehaven and the docks is a cycle track I was on a couple of weeks ago it leads all the way up to Rowra on cycle track those were the old railway tracks so yeah there was lots of mining around here back in the day lots of employment as well now it's struggling a bit like in some parts Anyway, that's enough of my uh, boring history lesson. Right, that's done and dusted. Just under a two mile walk back to the car. A different way from last night. So it's been another cracking night. That's only my fourth camp of the year. So it's somewhat surprised me, but I suppose it's worth getting away and other stuff, cycling. You can't do it all, I suppose. But it's just the way it is. The dogs are absolutely fine. Penny's rolled in poo. Which is a bit naughty, yes. So she's got her ears back and she's been told off. So she's going straight into the bath when she gets yam. And I'll say I'm on till sleep all afternoon. Hang on. Ah, they're chilled out. So it's a nice cool morning, somewhat surprisingly. So hopefully we won't get too much of a, a hot day today. And you know something? I'm just looking at this lens and I think I might have scratched it. Oops. Oh well, it is what it is. Anyway, I'll stop waffling on, so I shall see you on next one. So that's goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mont and Penny. <laughs>